Hello, and welcome back to The Seven Sisters. So, following the information found in Malthus's journal, who turns out not really to be a magician, but a uh, Hammerite priest who escaped the slaughter of the Hammerites by the local mechanists, uh, we're off towards the cathedral up here in the hopes of finding a book. It's uh, the Book of Thalesius, Volume 2, I think it is, that has information on the Seven Sisters and this plague, which uh, Malthus believes the Seven Sisters, whatever they are, have something to do with this plague that is uh, everywhere right now. Now, there's not much shadow in the square. I might be better off coming out here from the other direction. So let's do that. Let's just loop around through Malthus's place because that gives me an easy connection without worrying about all these last guards everywhere. I already tried killing that banner. It doesn't die. There might be a secret behind it, but if there is, I didn't find the switch. Not that I looked very hard. But I don't have any reason to suspect a secret there. So there probably is one. I'm probably just foolish to not keep searching. Uh, so the cathedral's ahead. It's nice that it's well signposted. What have we got here? Nope. And you need a square lockpick there. Alright. Does the guard, yeah, guard actually comes this way. Quiet, dog. Well, there's not much more shadow this way either. Turn around, please. Very much like it if you turn and face your right. Well, do. Nothing, nothing. Okay. I guess it's nothing now. It is nothing. Literally nothing. Uh, you're gonna see your friend here if I knock him out, aren't you? Means I'm gonna have to take care of you first. Sorry, ma'am. Normally, ladies first is the rule, right? Or is that for escaping rather than knocking people out? Or just opening doors, I don't know. Turn, mate, turn. Come on, look away. Quickly. Before your friend comes back. God. Very unhelpful, aren't you? Most unhelpful indeed. See, now I don't have an opportunity. It's probably what you're conspiring to watch the streets properly, is that it? These guards, you know. Way too overzealous. Ow! Oh, balls. Hello, friends. I'm moving and I'm not going to drop a single thing. Where's the canal? Oh, here's the canal. I'm gonna go for a swim. That way. Get him. I'll find you. I'll find you. We have a break in. I, I saw the perp, but I lost him. <laughs> well, you saw me. He's not running off. Did I tell you as soon as I find you? Oh. One of them's gone running off. Why don't you come over here? So I can knock you on the head, hopefully. Nope. Oh, ow! Oh, ow! Ow! 
Ow! I'm trying to save the well here. Oh, I've got flash bombs. That would have been good to remember. Alright, uh. Yeah, yeah. Damn it, look at that, I'm almost dead. Where was my ladder? There's a ladder out of here somewhere. Right on this corner and to the left. It's a very ominous moon there, isn't it? Wait, this is another place this isn't the way to the cathedral. Maybe it's one way to the cathedral. Oh, that's right, there's three of them here, that's right, I wasn't I wasn't intending to go that way yet, I'm getting turned about. This is the way I was trying to go. Ah. Well, would you look at that, they're both back on their patrol. Before I could get back to them. That doesn't help me at all. Maybe I should just use my flash bomb. Or well, maybe I should just run for it. Well, oh, hang on. Got a dark corner here. Maybe that's of some use. Keep my flash bomb ready just in case, I think. There's no way I'm going to be able to pick the lock of the print works there, right, with these guards constantly watching. Turn around, mate. Quick. I'm not going to be able to carry the body away in time, right? He's going to get upset. He's going to start searching. And then I'm going to have a chance to get him. I guess I would have been able to carry the body away in time. Probably not now, though. Whoever's there, hey, stop! Right there. Like they're, they're unconscious. They're not going to stop. I'll turn you up sooner or later. Something's up. Things aren't right. Oh, he's not coming all this way. Like there's some evidence of a burglar. Well, not a burglar per se. I'm in the streets, not a building. All right. Well, he's uh, not going to win any prizes for investigation. I think we've got a code twelve. I saw some evidence. So code twelve. Heads are going to roll now. Oh, damn you! Can I escape to the fountain? I can. You can't get me here. Where's the nearest canal? Stone bridge. I'm gonna take you down. I'm gonna lead you on a merry goose chase. Oh, you saw me there. Better get in some shadow quick. Right now, gonna be just hunting. Damn. He's 
losing the building now. This guard seems to be confused. He thinks he's inside. And that I'm losing the building. Well, I guess he's got something to learn. Still alert, right? I'm not gonna be able to get up behind him. Can I just draw his attention? Perhaps. Turn you up sooner or later. Maybe. All right, got him. That's not very dark, is it? That's dark. Alfonso and Anita. So I could have, I could have actually. It turns out I did have plenty of time to get Anita over here. Uh, what have we got here? This, oh, that's the cathedral entrance, okay. Print works. Can I steal some ink? Oh, there's somebody asleep here. Now, I was just also hearing another plague victim a little further back. That's a nice detail printing press model. Unfortunately, it's a little too tight against the wall. Oh, they need more than a printing press, right? They don't have any uh, guillotines or anything here. <laughs> nice. Just as I climb up the ladder, he mumbles Taffer in his sleep. Nice. Good timing, mate. Your dreams are uh, surprisingly prescient. Oh, he's got. Okay, what have we got? A ring? And. Close. Close. A bunch of gold. And a bunch of nothing. I don't even know what my loot objective is, to be honest. 1900? 1900, yeah. What a brilliant idea it has been to start publishing a newspaper! From being a simple typographer, I have become a person respected and revered by all the town. Without false modesty, I must say that I have always had a certain ability in writing, and people adore my articles. From the time I inserted the gossip column, the East Fording News has always sold out. From here came the ingenious idea, to ask for some contributions, so to say, for not publishing some compromising business of which I became acquainted with. This initiative has proved to be very lucrative, I can even afford to pay some informers now. This epidemic has slowed my turnover a little, but it will not last forever. Notes. Judge Fowley has taken money from Lynch the Butcher to acquit him of the charge of selling spoiled meat. But I am sure that Fowley has some other skeletons in his closet. Abel and Janvier are planning to clean up his house tomorrow night. I told them to look for any document that might look interesting. Well, I didn't find any documents there. Hmm. Maybe I should go back. Neves, Sir Allingham's daughter, meets in secret with Kevil the guard at Mrs. Peacock's every time her father is out of town. She says she has no cash at the moment. She gave me a ring with brilliance. Madame Roxanne has a new lover, the young Manfred. Hey, if the bear knew it, he would be furious. I don't know whether Madame Roxanne will be disposed to pay for my silence. It would be worth trying, though. Basil the carpenter buys forbidden drugs from that musician, Keith. Then he resells them in town. Keith is a wretch, but Basil's business is thriving. I am afraid that he will have to share his profits with me. I've seen with my own eyes a mechanist guard stealthily entering Madame Roxanne's last night. Unbelievable! But weren't just they who insisted to have the brothel closed. I'll tell Hare to keep an eye on him for a while. By the way, Hare told me that he and Burke continue to sell bodies to Dr. Knox. I'm tempted, but maybe it's better that... No, Knox is the only doctor in town, and who knows, maybe one day I could be in need of him. Well, good to see you have some scruples in your blackmail there, Master. Right, let's, let's take a peek at your rafters, hey? See if you got anything up there. Oh. Well, that's why I saved. Don't they look like wood to you? They look like wood to me. 
but it's not wood. At least the sides are not wood. Like, that's a wood texture, and yeah. Yeah. That makes me annoyed. Makes me angry. I suppose that means there's nothing up there. Alright. Ah, right, down we go. So, all the news that's fit to print, except that which was paid for. What have we got here? The East Fording News, published by Lucas Meredith. Well, that must be him. Alright, so this is the old Hammerite complex. Uh, so I've been all the way around here, right? Did I check this door? Oh yeah, that's, that's the magician's place. Malthus. So this is one place I'm going to have to search, but I can't do it tonight. Well, at least not now. Through that door. I got the water arrow from there. How many? How am I doing? Ten. I can heal ten victims if I have sufficient holy water. Well, that's the cathedral entrance. And here's just got a little garden. Well, here we go. This is a defunct cathedral, the mechanists. I hear somebody walking around. The mechanists apparently uh, ruined it some time ago. Quite recently, I think. Uh, they've done a number on it, that's for sure. Can I get up there? No. That was a bat. Shut up. We have... Mechanist servant guards, that's... That's not right. It's not right at all. More bats. I hope those aren't the ones that attack me. They're the kind that attack me. There's a royal pain to hit. Well, that one was stationary, so it was not, not too bad. I hope they're just for ambience. In uh, the Dracula fan mission, there were ones that attacked me. I guess there was, those must have been vampire bats. Ha ha. Right. Mechanist, servant, man or woman. I don't know. You're gonna sleep like your colleague over here. Ezra, you have names. But you're faceless masked servants. You have names, apparently. Engel. Maybe I'll find marks here as well. Right, let's test to see if these bats are anything other than noisemakers. Apparently not. We have a door. This seems to lead in the old, into the old Amorite complex area. We have some random beams. Are those freaking annoying bats. Another door to the other side. Here's a possible entry. I don't know about the front doors. Can we go in the front doors? Can I move the back corpse? No. Front door is ajar. But I'm not going to be opening it. Okay. It's all jammed shut, I guess. Uh, so the west door goes, presumably, overlooks a the canal there. Uh, the east door goes to the Hammerite complex. Let's try this west door first. Just to. Uh, right. Let's go here then. Oh, that's not going to work. Hammerite complex it is. 
How much do you want to bet that uh, I can't pick that one either? Well, I'm gonna have to climb up this and over there and up there. Oh, that one's not locked. Well, I just went to the courtyard of the Hammer Complex. Is that a corpse or a zombie? So I thought, oh, that's going to be uh, that's the dead guard. Here's the key we need. They couldn't access his body. Did they not try the switch? Oh, I see. The lever for the switch is missing. Well, we need his key at some point. Uh, and that's an objective we got before go to the cathedral. So despite this impending plague of doom that I'm supposed to cure, let's just see if I can find my way in here. Nope. Maybe I'll have to come back for him tomorrow night. I don't know. Or maybe... Oh, my Sarah's off like this. And maybe some other solution will present itself. I don't know. Alright. Cathedral, let's try climbing up. Seems the only way in is with the, the little acrobatics. Alright, climb. Thank you. Roof here with gargoyles that are hatched there. Let's try the main roof first. Right. No, can't climb that. Uh, and this is getting me nowhere. Alright, let's go. And this skylight. Luckily there's an attic. Oh, this is the secretary attic where Malthus hid, I guess. That must be the way he went out. The way he left. Three more repairs, okay. One gold candlestick. Ah, there's no ladder up here. That explains why the mechanists couldn't get Malthus. That's too close. It's right there. How quiet, you things. Shut out some of that noise. There's a torch still burning. Long lasting fuel. I'm sure this happened uh, days ago at least, right? Look at these mechanists. Can't they do a job properly? Banner they haven't chopped down. Have to do it for them. Oh, we've got some brooks. Oh. Uh, oh, so Malthus came back here and was killed. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, there's a couple of books here. What's the one behind? Cap 3, Care and Maintenance of the Sacred Vessels and Vestments. The Holy Hammer. A big honour is conferred to the brother who has been named Keeper of the Holy Hammer, since this ancient relic is the tangible symbol of the Builder's favour. Therefore, the Brother Keeper will place all his care in order to avoid any damage, vilification or theft of this holy object, while defending it at the cost of his life. Care and Maintenance. The Holy Hammer will have to be put back into its special case immediately after use. To preserve its brilliance, delicately rubbing it with a soft cloth once a week will be sufficient. The use of abrasive powders or acids is not recommended. If it should become necessary, wash the hammer by dipping it in lukewarm water with a mild soap solution. To avoid water spots, wipe dry immediately with a clean cloth. Ceremony of the Holy Hammer The Ceremony of the Holy Hammer will take place each year on the third day of the tenth month. Additionally, it could be celebrated in the event of war, famine, or plague to invoke the help of the Builder. The brothers all must gather in the cathedral, where they will stand in absolute silence in the dark, with their heads bowed in prayer. The Brother Keeper will move along the nave, holding the holy hammer, and then place it on the altar. If our pleas are accepted, then the spirit of the Builder will descend among us. We will be blessed by his light, and a chorus of our deceased brothers will rise to sing his praises. Glory to the Builder! May he always be our support and guidance. Uh, I'm not sure I like that chorus of deceased brothers. Uh, but I'm going to have to try that ceremony out if I find the hammer. What's this book? 10 8. 
By the builder, I almost died of fright. I had just entered the cathedral when I saw the ghost of Brother Martino approaching me. I was about to salute him, but he started running towards me, brandishing his mace with a menacing scowl. Fortunately, I managed to run away before he could attack. 10-9. Today I went back to the cathedral. I was ashamed of my cowardice. I had to find that key. I entered the cathedral discreetly. The ghost of Brother Martino was walking back and forth between the altar and the door of the bell tower. Upon closer inspection, I saw his body lying near the broken ladder. All of a sudden, I remembered what had happened. On that terrible night, we were preparing to celebrate the annual ceremony of the Holy Hammer, and Brother Martino was the keeper of the hammer. Perhaps he had tried to protect the holy relic by hiding it on top of the bell tower. However, the stairs fell apart, and he fell to his death. Suddenly, his spirit has lost memory of what happened. He treats every human being as an enemy who has stolen the hammer. If only I could put the precious object back in its rightful place, perhaps he would suffer no more. His soul would finally find peace and I could get the key. Still, how could I ever reach the top of the bell tower? I will ask Dr. Knox for help. He is a young, reliable man. I will leave these notes here so that if anything should happen to me, the doctor will know what to do. I may be able to find a few more holy water vials in the complex. I'm certain there was one in my room, hidden in a secret compartment. Other than that, I'm sure that other citizens have extra vials lying around their houses. Many years ago, they used to defend themselves against the undead. 10-11. Dr. Knox, if you are alive and if you ever get up here, don't kill the ghost of Brother Martino or you will never get the key. Builder, forgive me. Uh, so which other, other citizens have holy water as well. What's this key? Cathedral key, okay. New objective. Do not kill Brother Martino or you will never get the key. What key is this? Did it say? Did I? I had to find that key. I don't know what key. Clearly not the one I just picked up because I just. I just got that one. All right. No ghost of Brother Martino here. Wandering up and down in here, right? Let's just use this door briefly. I think it goes outside. Yeah, good. Right, so I have an escape path. In case Brother Martino sees me and thinks I'm gonna steal his precious holy hammer. Oh, not, I'm gonna return it. Or well, maybe I should drop it on the altar, altar and see if uh, we get help from the builder. I don't see a ghost. See a couple of bodies. Perish there. Some collapsed stairs. Hmm. Are those wooden beams? No, those are definitely metal. Alright. Get out. I don't want to jump. I'll check out the bodies later. I have an errand first with this holy hammer. I don't know how I'm going to get up there yet. I see some wood up there. I don't have a noisemaker arrow. Let's make it quiet here. Where's a good place to stick this rope arrow? 
Working very hard, I think, to aim it effectively. Let's try that. Uh, that was a waste. What is that hitting? Ah, uh, that's not right. That's just I'm hitting something, but it's not wood. Yeah, actually, looking at where the wood is, it's overlapping the ledge. I'm not going to be able to get a rope arrow in there. There's got to be some other way to the bell tower. How about how about up there? There's a hatch. Maybe we can go from ledge to ledge. So if we can get up to this area somehow, or up there somehow. Well, it looked like a hatch. Top the steps, Garrett. Ooh, what's this? That must be where the holy hammer must be placed. To, uh, for the ceremony. Well, those people are quite dead. Can't open these doors. I can open that one a fraction. Doesn't help. Although maybe I can climb on it. What do you know? Well, they have an organ. Don't know how to play the organ. But I've got up here. Okay. Does that help me get any further? I see a... No, no, there's a chain holding these candles. I'm not going to be able to make it to that uh, beam, am I? Almost. Am I doing this? Is this the right way? Is this what I should be doing? Doesn't feel like it's quite what I should be doing. Nah. Uh, also, my theory that there might be a hatch on these beams, like I can see now that is that just stone or is there no, there is definitely a passage there, see I can see some parallax on the near wall yeah, there's definitely a way through there so, uh, that's where I need to get to, but how? How do I do that? There's not a single bit of wood here. Damn hammerites. Filling everything out of non wooden materials. I shouldn't hate wood so much, it's useful for a thief. Can I grab onto this chain? Oh. Hang on. That was odd. I could, okay. Wasn't quite expecting that. Oh, well, there's, there's my answer. Metal plates would be quiet. So we're above the ghost man now. Oh, now we're going to deal with the bloody bats again. Alright, so now we're in the bell tower. Why that's useful. I guess it lets me get a rope arrow, perhaps. It will go all the way down. I can put the rope arrow here, for example. Yeah, that'll be a, that should be a safe way down. Landing on the moss I placed down. No, 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 no. Don't, don't jump off. Just ma mantle that carrot. Alright, mantle this. <laughs> I 
The holy hammer. Alright. Well, I could go back in through the main way, or I can come down my rope. I guess might as well come down by my rope. I wonder if there's anything up there. And if I can get up there. Let's find out. Firstly, it seems I can get up here. Secondly, it seems there is purse up here. That's it. Oh, luckily, I put my arrow on the most convenient side for that. Quiet, quiet. Don't wake this vengeful spirit. to get stuck on some floor tiles. Let us complete the ceremony and hope it doesn't cause us any problems. Stand in the darkness just in case. That's the key you wanted. Honestly, well, I was going to say you should get a good burial, but we can't. Alright, do I want my rope arrow back? I'll leave it, I've got plenty more. Four more, actually. Did I waste one? I thought I had six before. Maybe I do want it back. So I shouldn't hurt myself down there, should I? I think so. back outside then. <laughs> Any way to get down from here without hurting myself? Any way to actually get through here again? Come on, Garrett, you got through before. Sometimes the physics in this uh, engine is a little problematic. Right, that's not high enough to hurt. Good. Alright. Uh, we have the key to the crypt. Now, where is the crypt? Apparently, it's uh, in front of the cathedral to the south. Go back out. It's easy enough to do. And we go to the crypt. Is that where the Book of Thalysius is then? Did I hear footsteps? No. Oh, that's the crypt, obviously. Crypt key, crypt key. Well, this might be a one-way trip. Uh, so I'm just going to make a hard save here in case I regret this. I see another water arrow though, so at least something I won't regret. Two. Bring us to twelve. 
Anything else here in the water? No, just texture marks. Oh. Uh, seems a number of hammerites have died here in the water. Or were they already dead and their bodies just floated up out of their uh, coffins? No. How did this place flood so much? What have we got down here? Golden skull, that's nice. I can hear some rustling chains. There must be a prisoner. Or a haunt. Come on, Garrett, climb out. No, why won't you? Your mantle up there. Alright. Do it the hard way. I can't fit through that hole. Uh, is that wood? Probably that's wood. Let's assume it's wood. Hello, sir. Stand on these edges, probably. Alright, there we are. Oh, the other one's turning. Oh, there's lots of them. Well, these guys, I think, are these the ones I raised from the uh, ceremony? That would be bad for me. about that. I don't think they're happy about that at all. Hammer on, sir. The worst thing in Thief. Uh, the way their voice just echoes around inside your head is creepy. And they're damn fast as well when they're on the hunt. They're still searching, okay. Patience, Garrett, patience. God, he's coming to investigate that jump. Dear, oh dear. That's no good for me because uh, this craggy edge means I keep getting my getting stuck on it as I try to jump off the rope. Always a risk with these kind of overhangs in the dark engine. Calm down, mate. Calm down. You come down too, okay? And you. Because I'm going to need to backstab all these guys to get rid of them. Trouble with the overhanging edge just means I can't mantle it, and when I can't mantle it, I also can't easily jump onto it. I'm still searching over there. I'm not sure if I'm actually standing on this ledge at all. 
properly. Well, it seems to be alright. He's searching again. I thought he'd given up. It better not come this way. Don't come this way. Which part of don't, don't you understand? Seriously, these guys. Come right into my corner there, okay. I don't think they can walk out over this ledge though, at least, at least there's that. I don't know how you'd even begin to ghost this section, that's uh, two close patrols and one stationary who turns around and not much shadow to hide in. And all these disembodied flickering lights that you can't put out. Maybe there's another way into the crypt other than this, but uh, if there was, I didn't find it. And the other problem is, we're going to have to do this all over again. Once this, one of these guys has calmed down, one of them is going to go back to patrolling, one of them is going to be stationary, and we're going to have to uh, deal with both. And then one of them is going to be alert, and I'm going to have to wait for them to calm down again. Maybe enough shadow by these pillars, I don't know. They're still alert, that's the problem. The laughter makes it very clear that they're on the alert. I'm still waiting to, for them to calm down, but they've stopped searching. And that's at least a good start. Do I have any mines, actually? Flash bombs. No mines. Where is this patrol taken? Okay. No, oh, not enough shadow. Damn it. Dear, dear, this is just gonna be tedious. Tedious, tedious, tedious. So you might ask, why don't you uh, add it out? I mean, maybe I can get them all down here, you know? Except these guys probably didn't hear it. I can't fight them, look at my health. And they're insanely alert. I'm gonna load that last save, because at least they're on their way to calming down then. I just need a bit more patience. Till they stop their laughter. Once they stop their laughter, they won't have insane vision out the back of their heads. Which will help me a little. But I need another dark corner, and I can't see one. Possibly that pillar over there. But as long as they got insane vision out the back of their heads, I can't get there to find out. Learning there's no other safe place, there's only this pool of water here. My only escape route. God, this guy turns around all the time, it's uh. Patience, patience, patience. Arrows are pretty useless against these guys. It takes like one of them when they're calm will do something, but it takes like ten or something. I don't really have eleven. Blackjack is useless. Fighting them head on with the sword is possible, but really, really not easy. Especially when you only got five health, because they are super fast. They just attack incredibly quickly. So it's really backstabs or nothing, and in a confined space like this, with no real places to run and hide, backstabs are just... It's a fool's game, really. 
Right, I don't know if he's calmed down enough, but I'm going to take the risk again once he's turned about. There we go. No! Alright, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save scum my way through this, because it's going to be way too tedious otherwise. She's... Alright, he sounds calm now. Maybe there's a bug that doesn't calm down properly, or maybe he was just about to calm down when I ran out. I don't know. I think the one I'm hearing down there might be the same one that patrols up here. I don't know. I'm going to wait for him to come back and then make my move again anyway, because here he is. I don't want to join you. You guys aren't the most fun, you know? Joining you is not my idea of a holiday. Alright, when he turns around, this is my chance. Okay, it is just barely dark enough. Maybe the niche to my right will be darker. Turn around, mate, and I'll try it. Quickly. Quickly now. You need a better recruitment slogan, you know? That one's a bit repetitive. Oh, here's his friend. Don't touch me. Good. He didn't notice me at all. Okay, so my plan here is, uh, Voluble here is going to turn around, and then I'll stab him in the back with my sword. Oh, there's another. Great. There's still three of them at least. Turn around, turn around! I just decided never to turn around now. Well, that's... Oh, there he goes, but it's too late. His friend's on the way back. Too late. Too late. Well, patience is a mark of a good thief. That's going to get them all excited again. For sure. I can't hear lots of evil laughter like before, so maybe they're only a little bit excited. I can't hear this fellow up here at all. He's coming. Maybe it's just some oddness with the sound propagation down to here. Getting sound propagation right in Thief when you're working in the editor is uh, can be quite difficult, especially with complicated spaces. Where is he gone? Maybe he's calmed down? If he has calmed down, that's good news for me because I'll get a chance to stab him in the back too. Maybe he's not too bothered by the sight of his fellow sleeping. Yeah, he's he seems to have only uh, gone to a little search and not to full alert. I guess he went just to level two, level three. That's good. All right, so I can wait till he goes around the corner and get back to my shadow much safer. I guess he he's not bothered by the sight of his fellow haunt lying there. He was only he'd only be bothered by the noise. Okay. Alright, this is a little less tedious overall than I expected. Oh, that's a bad place to stand because he pathfinds around that body a little closer to that pillar where I was standing before, so I think this is probably a better, better place to wait for him. You see some valuable loot and things too, but obviously that's going to wait till the threat is dealt with. I'm not going to try and ghost this. That'd be ridiculous. 
There's ghosts enough in these crypts without me. Ha ha. Around. Yeah, it goes way too close. Oh shit. Oh shit. Ah, no. Oh, I got him, but he got. Uh, damn, he got me a lot. Bloody hell. So he t started turning, I guess, and saw me just as I stabbed him in the back. Uh, one hit point. Seems a common thing for me. I was on one hit point quite a lot during uh, Romanus Curse, in fact, on two different occasions. Alright. Well, there is another one, but he doesn't seem to have heard anything. So I can at least scatter around some more. At least patches of darkness are tiny. And unreliable. Right, so the other guy wanders that passage up there. I'm gonna have to follow him down there. I think this way is clear. I can't hear anything from that side. Let's just patience, here he comes. Uh, my hands are all sweaty. Hopefully he is the last haunt in this entire crypt. Don't Oh, he's not coming this way, good. Pain, flames, flames around you. Nothing but flames. Well, these guys don't have names, that's a shame. Just corpse. Unless it was his name, that would be a... Imagine your parents calling you corpse. You'd be terrible parents. Alright. Let me get them out of the way as well, you know. <coughs> I don't want to bother anyone down there. Least of all me. Uh, not that I need to do this, but, uh, you know, just cleaning up. I guess they're a bit too solid for actual ghosts, aren't they? These haunts. That's alright, just reanimated bodies. Okay, uh. I don't know if I have the whole crypt to myself, but I definitely have this section of the crypt to myself now. So let's take a look around and uh, see what we can find. Be a little careful because there's still definitely uh, a chance of more haunts around the corner. Oh, some people have gold encrusted skulls on their tombs. How nice. Quite a lot of gold encrusted skulls, actually. Must have been popular in whatever century they uh, started laying these people down in here. Well, there's our loot objective complete as well. That's quite nice. Right, let's go this way first. The way that there was a small window into. There's the window. I see it's. Oh, it's collapsed, but I can probably climb up there. I've got a flare. Interesting. I'm going to try climbing up there later. I think that might be inside the Hammerite compound that I couldn't access. Uh, is that east? No, that's west. Oh. I don't know where that is. Maybe that's Mrs. Dowson's. Right, let's, let's go back this way. We're in the crypts here to find a book, right? I need to keep an, uh, an ear out here. I think there's no more... No more people to bother us, or not quite people. What have we got here? Of course, there's a secret passage to a lower level of crypts. Nope, to just a hidden room. Holy water! Okay. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Is that what was down here? Holy water, is that why you wanted to get in the crypts? 
dear, oh dear, oh dear. I thought I was here to find a book. The Prophecies of Thelesius, Volume 2. Got to start by heading to the cathedral. Well... <laughs> Damn you, Malthus. This doesn't help me. This doesn't help me at all. Alright, alright. Well, if the book's not in here, I guess we better see where this, uh, we're climbing out here takes us. <sighs> Metal. Oh, here, a ghost. Alright, well, maybe this is still part of the cathedral? No. Well, cathedral basement, I guess, though. Metal. Got one moss arrow. I won't use it here. Let's go slowly. I'll keep it for where there's actually somebody I need to creep past right in front of me. Oh, it's got a lift. I'm gonna say with that. With that off, the lift isn't going to work, is it? So what it didn't do... Is there anything in there? No, okay, come back down. I don't fall through this lift, huh? All right, where are we now? We're still west of the West of somewhere. Well, we might be in here because I didn't really follow where the crypt passages were taking me, although I thought they came down here. I have no idea where I am. But it's clearly a Hammerite place. This must be the Hammerite complex. And I just got turned around inside the crypts. Such a noisy floor here. Oh, great. He's a hammer and ghost, not, uh... What haunts. Uh, dear, should I also try and, uh, dispose of them? A sensible plan, but please don't see me. No, oh, is this mate coming back? Why are these guys all restless? That's his body, right? Don't feel me. Oh dear. He noticed me. Well, let's try this floor then. Well, I don't think we're going to be able to try that floor. All right. I'm going to answer that question. Is you guys still upset with me? 
Oh, he seems to calm down surprisingly quickly. Interesting. Anyway, uh, it has been an hour, so I'm gonna end the episode here, and I will see you shortly for the next episode. Thanks for watching.